The Mercedes S-Class is one of the poshest cars on the road, and so for this review, I thought I'd better dress it appropriately. Also, Mercedes has always used the S-Class to showcase its engineering expertise, and the old car was so good that this new one has some very big boots to fill. In order to do that, it must offer the utmost in luxury, unprecedented comfort, an impressive ride, and world-leading technology. Speaking of which, according to Mercedes, this is the first car in the world not to feature a single traditional filament light bulb. For instance, all the lights in there, yeah, they're all LEDs. LEDs. More LEDs. Ooh, some shiny LEDs and some blue ones, look. Yeah, those are LEDs too. Despite being all new, this latest S-Class looks very similar to its predecessor. But that's no bad thing, as the shape is effortlessly classy. Inside, however, the changes are far more dramatic and help make the new model feel even more at market than before. All the materials are of the highest quality, while the dual 12-inch TFT screens ensure the cabin is a thoroughly modern affair. There are nice little touches everywhere, such as the pop-out controls for the heat events. Also, you can get the car with a special perfume system to make the cabin smell even nicer. And there's a selection of different scents here. Look, we've got nightlife mood, sports mood, downtown mood, whatever that is. In fact, let's, let's try it. Actually, I might keep these for a night out. And then there's other touches as well. I mean, the buttons, they're all bespoke to the S-Class. You won't find any of these in an E-Class or a C-Class. And then there are these new shortcut buttons for the infotainment system, which makes it a lot easier to use. I could go on for ages about the list of standard equipment, like the leather interior, digital radio, Bluetooth, command sat-nav, and online connectivity so you can turn the car into an internet hotspot. But what's really interesting is the options. Okay, so this car's got some new massage seats and it uses heater elements to actually simulate a hot stone massage. Now all I have to do is get some lavender scent on the ventilation system and then play some whale music through the 13-speaker Burmester stereo and I've effectively got myself a mobile spa. This car also has a 360-degree view camera, which is very handy on such a big car. Also, it's got a night vision mode to warn you of potential hazards lurking in the dark. There's even more gadgets here in the back, and if we wanted to, we could watch Rebecca reviewing a car almost as small as her on these 10-inch screens, and you've got the headphones tucked away here in the central armrest, look, posh Mercedes headphones. But, yeah, we're not going to do that now, because I want to show you one of the features you can get on this car. Now, if you haven't noticed already, this is the long wheelbase version of the S-Class, and it's pretty roomy, as you can see, I've got plenty of headroom and leg room, but if you're really leggy, what you can do is move the front passenger seat forward there, I've got control of it. You can slide it all the way forward and then pop up the footrest, allowing you to really stretch out. I'd say I was pretty relaxed right now, but these aren't actually the top of the range seats. You can get something called first class seating for the S-Class, and with those, the backs can actually recline to 43.5 degrees, which is more than in any other car. Yes, the S-Class is all about one-upmanship. We thought we'd use some posh nosh rather than the usual cheap snacks to demonstrate the S-Class's impressive array of in-car storage. But not forget about that salmon, though. Meanwhile, the boot is large enough if you need to go shopping, say, for electricals. Speaking of which, the tailgate is electrically operated. As for reliability, well, this car is too new for there to be any stats on it. But Mercedes did finish fifth overall out of all the major manufacturers in the 2013 Driver Power Owner Satisfaction Survey. And if you want to, you can rate your car at driverpower.co.uk by clicking here. <laughs> The new Mercedes S-Class is an incredibly safe car. It has a wide range of systems which not only protect you in an accident, but help prevent one in the first place. For instance, you can upgrade the cruise control so that it will effectively crawl along and follow the car in front of you in a traffic jam and you don't really have to do anything. It'll even brake it to a standstill if it needs to, yet it won't brake so fast that the car behind you smashes into the back of you. And then there's the lane keeping assist, so you can just be driving along the motorway and the car will effectively steer to keep you in your lane. Uh, don't go thinking that 
that means that you can you know, not drive the car for legal reasons. Even though it theoretically could drive itself, it's not allowed to. You do have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. So yeah, don't sack your chauffeur just yet. Either way, whether you are in the back or doing the driving yourself, the S-Class really is about as comfy as four-wheel transport gets. It's just so quiet inside that you waft along without a care in the world. It helps that the seven-speed automatic gearbox is just so smooth that you don't notice any of the changes actually taking place. And then there's the standard fit air suspension, which is just so supple that you effectively just glide up the road. In fact, if you put it into its sports mode, it's actually more comfortable than most cars are on their comfiest settings. And when you put it into comfort, it's, it's as though you're driving around on a giant pillow. It's even better if you go for a car with magic body control because it has special cameras which can read the road ahead and it will prepare the suspension if it thinks you're going to hit a pothole or a bump. The punch engines also make for smooth progress. They range from a sublime 3 litre V6 diesel which can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in under 7 seconds yet will return over 50 miles per gallon to a ridiculous 5.5 litre bi-turbo in the fire-breathing AMG version. Now you might be thinking that a big car like this won't handle very well but it actually goes around corners very well and the steering is sharp, it's precise and it's nicely weighted and you've got plenty of grip. Though if I'm honest, a Jaguar XJ does feel sportier to drive. And that does bring me on to this car's downsides and one problem that I have with quite a lot of Mercedes actually is that the steering wheel, if you look, it's ever so slightly offset to the left and really that can make you feel a bit twisted behind the wheel and it's not a problem that you have in an Audi A8. Another issue is that in the UK we won't get the all-wheel drive version of the S-Class and anyway, if you need luxurious go-anywhere transport, the Range Rover is probably your best bet. Finally, there's the price because a BMW 7 Series is slightly less expensive, so not by much. And really, when it comes to luxury travel, we all know it's always worth paying that little bit extra to upgrade to first class. And do you know what? That perfectly sums up this new Mercedes. Now you have seen our review of the S-Class, you can watch our review of the BMW 7 Series here or the Range Rover here. And don't forget to click on our logo to subscribe to the Carbuyer YouTube channel.